Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about group routing or bus routing. This is a feature that's available in the AllCab PCB Designer Professional License and the Allegra PCB Designer License. So I'd need at least a, an AllCab Professional License to be able to use this. Um, so I've got some connections here going from the connector up to the FPGA. Um, the pinout's pretty useful so I can kind of group route these in one go um, and just speed up the way I route. Um, so I can either go into the etch edit mode using either the green icon or the, the option down here to pick the etch edit mode, window select the connections and away I go, or I can invoke the add connect command and do the same function. So we'll use invoke the add connect command, we'll window the connections. And when I first grab the C lines, what happens is that the spacing is set based on the, the pin spacing of the connector. Um, so I now do a right click and I've got some options here for root spacing, but we'll start off, we'll use the, the change control trace. So I'm gonna change control trace and pick the center pin. I'm now guiding everything from that center pin location. I can then use the root spacing option and I can have the current space. I've got a minimum DRC, which will kind of give me the minimum DRC set from constraint manager, or I can set in a user defined spacing depending on what my requirement is. I now wish to change layers so I can add a via. Um, so I can either use the, uh, the the right click add via option up here or I can simply just double click and the double click will then bring me up with a via pattern. <coughs> so the via patterns are, are available are from a right click. Again, we've got a via pattern. We can go to perpendicular. We can use the stagger that we've just seen. We can use the diagonal left. We can use the diagonal right. We can use the out taper and we can use an in taper. So pick the back, the, the via pattern that you wish to use. I'm going to pick stagger. Um, I can also adjust the spacing between the vias. So if I go to via pattern and look at spacing options, I've got a channel space, so I can set that to be 15, for example. When I then click again, I then swap to the, to the alternative layer. So as I get towards the end and I want to start to kind of finish routing these connections, what I can do is I can say let's uh, let's do a right click again and we'll change the control trace to this to this end connection and then I can go into something called single trace mode so I can then come in and just start to finish those connections one by one as well work my way through. So other options for this we can assign shortcut keys using the uh, the, the EMV file located in your PCB EMV folder. So I can just window select the connections again, we'll do an add connect, but this time instead of um, using the right click function, I'm gonna press one to adjust the root spacing. That's adjusted the root spacing. Two would then give me a different control trace. Three would then pick the via space. Four would add the vias for me. Oops, let's just do an oops because I don't wanna add the vias there. So let's add four to add the vias and then five to cycle through the via arrays for the ones that I want. Once I'm happy with that, I can then continue with the routing. 